Hi everybody, Landon here. This is Lando 27 Music. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time checking out my channel, thank you for coming into the jam room here. And this is episode five of Boss vs. Boss. So this time I'm actually back to a Boss pedal, and what we're doing again in this series is comparing, that's the Katana 100 hanging out back there. It's got some built-in effects, and we're comparing the built-in effects to the actual physical pedals that it's trying to recreate. All right, today the pedal we have is the most hated or most loved, I'm not really sure, I'm not, I'm not a metal guy, right? So I'm not really clear on if it's really hated or really loved. I get mixed signals when I, I, look, at, I look online. People love it or they hate it. So what we've got today is the Metal Zone MT2 from Boss. And there's an actual Metal Zone effect built into the Katana 100 and it's the real deal. So we're gonna hopefully have a cool comparison. And I'm playing through a pretty cool guitar. This is a 77 Les Paul Custom Gibson. Vintage, vintage stock. So yeah, this is the bees in the box pedal, apparently. All right, let's get right into it. You can see on the screen here, I've got a metal zone, channel one, and then I've got a clean channel, uh, with no pedal, and that's how I'm gonna I'm gonna use that channel for the actual pedal. So, what should we start with? Let's go for the actual pedal. I'm on clean here. I've got a little bit of reverb, no other effects. I've got a hall reverb in there. You can see the, the settings. I've got it set to here, uh, equalizer set like that. Playing on the bridge pickup, and everything 12 o'clock on the metal zone here. The idea here is to compare it to the Katana built-in effect. So I'm gonna have the volume level set and just leave it and we can see if there's a big difference. All right, that's pretty quiet, to be honest. Let's kick in. Oh, come on, did you move out of the picture? Get lost. Metal zone, let's go into the effect. 12 o'clock, everything. So, not adjusting the volume on the guitar. I'm not adjusting the input level on the mic or anything like that, so let's go ahead. There you go. The Katana, definitely a lot louder right away, right off the bat. Let's try to balance it. Let's try to get, um, well, I know that the Katana is louder for sure, but let's try to get some kind of tones that sound similar. So normally in the past, the Katana has more features in terms of options on the actual pedal, but the, uh, the real metal zone here has, well, it's got the, uh, the volume and the distortion level, but then it's got, a lot of EQ settings you can dial around with. Dial around with. That's not even a thing. Cool. Let's go back into the real pedal. We'll bring up some level a bit, eh? A. a. Still some more room to, for it to go up. There we go. Quickly go back to the other one, see if that matches the level. Very close, yeah. So the pedal is cranked up almost, uh, looks like three o'clock there. To match the Katana, which is plugged in right now. You think I play metal? There we go. Now, let's do drive full, or distortion, whatever you want to call it. Bees, 
those bees. Get those bees away. Let's do the same with the, uh, the built-in effect. I'm definitely going to have to bring down the effect level, though, if I want to crank the drive. Oh, listen to these squealers, eh? I'm going to guess. Correct me in the comments below, but these are T-tops. Are these unpotted? I've never looked it up. Let me Google that for you. No thanks. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Drive full. What I didn't show, that I've shown before, this, I'm in chain two, so I've got the pedal right in front of the uh, preamp on both, right? Okay, uh, do I have a noise gate on? No, I don't. Let's try it with the noise gate, just for a quick, a quick comparison here. Noise gate off. <laughs> Okay, so it's off, or it's on, I mean. That's off. That's cool. Leave it on. Turn it off. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. And I'm gonna let you guys be the judge guys and girls, dogs, pets, everybody watching. I'll let you guys be the judge. I said it again. I'll let you be the judge of what you think is better. Uh, the Katana definitely wins in terms of output and it has almost every time. Maybe five out of five times it has. I have to go back and look at my other videos. But I believe the Katana built-in is just more powerful compared to the pedal sitting in front of it. Not to say the pedal is bad, it's just different, right? It's lower, lower output is fine. Maybe that's uh, what you want. Now I'm just not making any sense. Everybody, all right. Thank you for checking out my video. Thank you for checking out this series of Boss versus Boss, the Katana 100. Get out of the way. Show, show yourself. Stop hiding. All right. Again, I'm Landon. Thank you for checking out my channel. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and check out the other videos. Uh, let me know in the comments below if there is a pedal that you'd like to see that has a software version that's on the Katana 100. And I could do a comparison, a quick comparison just like this, just for fun. It's all for fun. I always say play guitar and have fun. So, so do that. Play guitar and have fun. And we will see you next time in another video. Take care for now. Bye. I remember that one. I remember that one. That was my favorite. That was my favorite. Actually, 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 covered up by this one.